Good morning and welcome to Addingham Park. We are just waking up at a hotel room where we, uh, we're camping out for a little bit. This is a beautiful map. Love this map. I've played this map before on FS19, but didn't get enough time to play it because uh, FS22 came out. So we're going to be jumping in here today. We got a beautiful truck here. Something simple, but uh, it'll get the job done. Let's go over to uh, our field. Now we do own the biogas plant, just like you do on New Farmer. This map is fantastic. Honestly, I forgot how much I actually enjoy this map. I've been driving around it, setting things up, and uh, yeah, absolutely love this map. But we're gonna do things a little different this time. Last time I did a lot of fast farming and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing stuff uh, a hair different. But this, this is one of those maps that's very scenic, very nice, honestly. Can't get enough of it. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, hedge collisions are staying on. Um, there is a way to shut them off. If you go to the, the store behind one of the posters, there's an option to turn hedges on or off, or hedge collisions. The hedges will still be there, but they'll, you can drive right through them. And that includes headers. But we're going to keep them on. It adds a little bit more realistic to it and uh, makes it a little more difficult because we're not going to be able to get big headers into fields. So we're going to be staying small this map. Uh, we're not going to have anything over 300 horsepower besides maybe a harvester depending on what's available. Um, other than that, we're going to have no equipment over 9 meters wide. So that means cultivators, harvester headers, cedars. Nine is the highest I want to go. Plus, I don't think we'll be able to really use anything higher than nine. Maybe something that folds up really tight, but most of the fields, the entrances, are very narrow. So you're not going to be able to do anything like that. Like, I mean, look at this entrance here. You're not going to be able to fit much through there. But it is still nice. On the right here, we have the animal dealer. And technically, I think we own those cows, but we're not going to use them. Uh, I do plan on doing cows eventually, but um, we're going to buy our own cows. We'll leave those ones there. It is nice. They roam around. It's a nice touch and add to the map. So just a little nice, but nice open land on this map. It is uh, a little hilly. As you can see, there's some good hills here, but nothing crazy. It's not super elevated um, but it just feels real it feels lived in now this is an actual place um, in the world Addingham Park is an actual place and uh, I mean they this this map is just perfect there's a lot of narrow alleyways um, there's some little uh, little hidden hidden gems on this map but we'll get to those as we go first we need to take care of our field. Now, right here, this is our field to our left, and there's the biogas plant. We have to come up and around to get to the entrance. Uh, there is three farms on this map. There's one just right in front of us. There's one down the side road down there. You go all the way around. And there's one on the other side of the map near the store. So you can kind of pick out which one you want to start on. We're just starting with the biogas plant. We have nothing. We have a giant grass field, which is going to make us money. Uh, and plus, we're going to be making digestate. We're going to be making money, no problem. Now, I did switch some machinery around from what you start off on New Farmer, so some things are a little different. We do have a little area here. This is not actually a field. This is kind of just grass, laid out grass. But we can think about doing something, maybe a greenhouse or something. That'd be nice. Uh, let's just drive in here. We'll park up. So we do have a silo here, a little uh, silage pit with a trailer just tucked inside. We have a forage harvester, a roller, and a telehandler. And there's the header for the uh, forage wagon or forage harvester. But that's, that's pretty much it. And this is our biogas plant. We do have a nice little fuel tank right here. But other than that, that's it. I'm just going to park the truck maybe in this little area over here. 
just to keep them out of the way. Now, let's see if our grass is actually done, because I want to get started as fast as possible, because we got some we got some stuff to do. We got 52,000 left um, after buying everything. You know, it took a, took a little pay cut, but let's go see if this grass field is actually ready. So this is just a, a dirt path leading to another field. This is where our grass, it says ready to harvest. Now we're not doing precision farming. This is just regular, regular old farming simulator. So nothing crazy there. We are doing all the, all the options are on besides weeds and uh, crop destruction. Usually don't play with those, not going to, um, just a preference of mine. This guy should be pretty nice to move around. We shouldn't really have a problem here. Uh, this guy is backwards, so we're going to have to spin him around and try to hook up here. Perfect. Going to be able to get out without hitting the head? Yeah. All right. Very nice. Let's go throw this in the field for now. And uh, we, we can put some silage additive in this to help us out, but for right now, I'm just trying to clear the field, get some grass going, and uh, make us some money because we got nothing. Now, there are contracts, and I will be doing some contracts. Um, I don't want to just do all contracts, and we're not going to be doing any fast farming. There's going to be no height adjustment tool or no draw bars. So we're just going to be doing a straight, normal-ish, realistic Let's Play. Let's open that guy up, and let's adjust the head. Yep. It registered that there's a trailer there. Perfect. And I think we... Oh, yeah. Hedge collisions. Like I said, hedge collisions are a thing. So we're going to have that as an as a uh, challenge. Now, I believe this will not harvest for non-fields. Oh, it will. All right. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and cut this then. I didn't think it would be able to. That's perfect. That's going to add a lot of extra grass that I didn't expect. So this makes it nice and easy to pick this stuff up. Uh, I was gonna go with a mower setup, but honestly, this is gonna make life a hundred times easier and a hundred times faster. So might as well. Let's just get this taken care of. So things around the map. I did add some placeables, some uh, different productions that are around the map that we will have to purchase. Now, in order to put them on the map, I had to purchase the land and uh, kind of do some things on my end. So technically we own more land than we really do. So when we get to the point of buying productions and buying the land, I'm gonna be subtracting the money out just like I would if I didn't have the land. But I wanted to get things set up ahead of time. So this is gonna, it's gonna be all right. Uh, we're not gonna get crazy yield because uh, I don't think this had full full fertilizer plus I'm not I'm on the uh, outskirts of the field I'm actually not cutting the normal grass yet some of it as you can see the line there so we're gonna definitely have uh, some big expenses buying more land buying a farm I'm gonna be purchasing one of the farms I'm not sure which one yet but we'll get there but yeah we're gonna be taking things a little slower in this one which is is nice. I honestly come on to these, this game to honestly like relax. This is kind of like my relaxing kind of game and uh, doing everything fast farming and hectic and fast. It's great. You can get a lot done, but at the end of the day, it's not relaxing. There's a lot going on. So this is going to be more of uh, taking care of ourselves. And uh, I want to do a lot for the community here. I want to build some uh, some nice areas for the community, take care of things, and uh, yeah, do some things a little different. So, all right, there's our first full trailer load. Let's shut that guy off so I'm not getting extra. And we'll go take this over to the silage pit. All right, first load going in. I want to make sure I'm not on the very edge. I want to evenly disperse this as best as possible. Three miles per hour should be good. All 
All right, perfect. Yeah, nice even spread. We don't have really anything to compact yet. So that's gonna be a big issue. We might have to use the telehandler to compact the silo. We really don't have many options for that. Let's pipe back out and cut around. So in the beginning, it's gonna be a lot of grass work. This is our job. We gotta get things done. So it's gonna be a lot of grass work. It is what it is. We're not gonna uh, be able to do much about it. And for, to use the roller, we're probably gonna need to lease a tractor. Uh, nothing crazy, but something that'll get the job done. Uh, maybe one of the Antonio Carrero tractors. We might be able to lease one of those and at least give us uh, some options on rolling this field. We'll get a fertilizing state off of it. We'll be able to uh, at least get something off the field a little bit more than what's on it right now. It is nice that we have uh, a little extra land. There's trees up here and trees where I parked the truck. That is our field. So we can cut down those trees, make a little bit of extra money that way. I wouldn't be opposed to that. But uh, yeah, we definitely gotta, we gotta get something. Because uh, we, we got 52 grand. We're not doing bad, but we're gonna definitely need to upgrade. And the fields around here are not cheap. So we're gonna need some serious money if we're gonna uh, upgrade our vehicles and our farm. We got about the good headlands done and uh, cleared off all this area. Let's see how much we actually have in here. Does it say? We got yeah, 48,000 liters so far. Not bad. What I want to do is I want to get a greenhouse early because uh, it's going to make us money while we're working on other things. So we got a lot of grass still to cut, but in this corner, I want to get a greenhouse going. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, beautiful. We got a greenhouse. Went with the open open air garden, uh, just much simpler. Uh, we're gonna need some water though. So I think we need to lease a tractor um, in order to run the roller and uh, get this water for this. You know, we're gonna need a tractor. So I think we'll lease one for now. I don't think we need to buy one. Let's, uh, let's go to the shop and uh, take a look at some things. All right, here at the shop. Uh, this is the uh, button to remove hedge collisions. Come here. I believe it is. Let's see. If you hit B, it'll remove hedge collisions. If you hit it again, it will turn them back on. So if you're looking for that. Perfect. Right there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get some equipment. Now, there is a couple things in the sale page, but nothing we can really use. So nothing crazy anyways. Let's uh, let's look at small tractors. Not looking for anything crazy. Maybe the Antonio Carrero pack. Even like something like that would be fine. That one's thirty nine thousand. Hmm. That one's a hundred grand. Yeah, twenty five. I think we need eighty horsepower to start. Yeah, these are going to be too pricey. Let's uh go with something maybe a little simpler. 39 grand for a hundred horsepower. That's not bad. Uh, 39. Let's see. Let's see if we got anything in the mods here. We got the Deutz for 28 for 143 horsepower. That's really good. Hmm. That might be an option. Ooh, 24,000 for 132 horsepower. Really? All right. This is what we're going with. 132 horsepower, we'll drive good, no problems. We're gonna lease that. We're not gonna buy it because I don't think we need to buy it yet. Let's go ahead and get a water tanker of some description. Uh, that one's a little small. Yeah, that one's not bad. It's a little expensive, nine grand. There's this one that I used last time. It's great, but Mm. And then there's a crazy fill one. We're not crazy filling. So I'm thinking we just go 2,000 liters. 
Let's go for yeah. I can't I can't pass it up. It's it's a great tanker. Shoot twenty five hundred dollars for ten thousand liters. I mean, there's there's nothing. It's crazy not to. Does this cost money? Can I put it black? Yeah. All right, we're gonna buy that. It's gonna cost us an extra thousand for the color, but I think it's useful. We'll grab that. So let's pick up our equipment and uh, head back to the farm. We gotta find some water. Water's gonna be the issue. Oh, that thing sounds nice. Perfect. The store owner informed me that uh, you can get water from this little river. Now the tractor doesn't want to sit still with it, but at least we can get free water right here with no problem. Very nice. We'll have to fill up a couple times, but for now, this will get us started. Oh, can we make it out of here? Does it have the power? I think just enough. This is right at the bottom of field 41, which is not far from our farm. Come on, you can do it. Beautiful. And uh, I don't want to drive on this guy's property too much, so we're just going to stay to the edge and we'll make our way over to our farm. It is a nice little river here. We can come take some water. Not too bad. And there is a little shed back there. I don't know if you can see it through the trees. There's a little shed right there, which is actually for sheep. So there's a little tiny field of, for a sheep pasture in there. So maybe we'll think about maybe doing some sheep. I don't think it holds much. I think it's probably only 30 sheep or so. But since we have so much grass, I mean, crazy if we didn't. So there's options. I'm, uh, I'm honestly enjoying just traveling around this map. It's beautiful. It's a really, really nice map. All right, perfect. So this is all Field 41. Oh, I don't want to tip over. Uh, field 41 is pretty big. Might be a good field to own. It's grass right now. I mean, hmm, that's something to look into. But first, I want to get us established before we start worrying about more land. Um, that's going to be later on. I want to, I want to make sure we're settled. This guy's got some nice sunflowers going. And our production is right up there. So not too far from the farm. I wish we could get water from like right here. Oh, maybe we can. We might be able to get water from right there. Uh, that, that might be an option. Hmm. Very well. Let's get this greenhouse some water. All right, now with this greenhouse, just like we used to have, we've got tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, potatoes, uh, sunflower. Now we can also do sugar beet, soybean, corn, and cotton. And cotton sells for a really good price. So I'm thinking, let's start some cotton there. Um, we're not going to add cedar solid fertilizer right now. I don't want to break the bank too much, but at least get some cotton growing. And uh, that'll give us some options here. We can go ahead and kill this guy. He can hang out for a bit. We're going to use him later. But yeah, we can get that going. Make us some cotton. We can sell that. That should work out really nicely. And uh, I guess we're going back to some grass. Going to be a long day. First cut is now done. We, uh, we did all right. Let's see here. Let's turn this on. We got 186,000 liters, not bad at all. 100% compacted already, so let's go ahead and cover that. Did any escape? Nope, I think we're good. This side was even better, so yeah. We're good on that. So that'll turn into silage, take a couple days. In the meanwhile, oh, I uh, changed my mind. I went with the other tanker, I swapped them out. And we lost about probably $1,000, uh, only because this one will do digestate as well. And it is smaller, I think it's a 5,000 liters versus 10,000 liters, but because it will do digestate and we have the biogas plant, it's well worth it. Uh, I had to buy gas because this guy ran out of fuel. Uh, let me shut that back off. This guy ran out of fuel. So I had to buy more gas and put it in the little tanker way back there. But uh, this header is a little small. It's a 4.5. 
I might swap it out for a bigger one once we get the money. Uh, I think the 6.1 base game one works with that uh, harvester, so that might get swapped out. And uh, a compactor would be great to have because that took a while to compact. And we're definitely going to need a bigger trailer because I just kept going back and forth. I think I went back and forth probably 50 times. It was a lot. Also, the... Uh, the actual silo, the bunker silo, it leaks out a little bit. I noticed, I think it hides it in the walls, but we were losing some here and there. So I'm very iffy about that. We'll see. I'm going to have to do some testing, but I was losing a little bit every time I compacted. So I'm thinking there it's bleeding through the walls, but the walls are thick enough where it's hiding it. Not 100% sure, but... I don't know. I mean, it did the job. It did the job. <clears throat> All right. But now we get some rolling done. I want to get this rolling done. Our grass will start growing. We'll get the extra fertilizing state on it. Oh, I didn't lower that down. Simple jobs, but uh, they got to be done. This will help us. There we go. Drop that down. Perfect. Now, I don't know what the it went back up. What the? How is that even possible? I can't unfold the roller. OK, that is odd. I've never seen that. I don't think I've ever used this exact roller, so let's try that again. Attach that, unfold roller, rolls that all down. Okay. Hmm. I must be doing something wrong. All right. Attach. All right. Now that is actually on the ground. Perfect. Now it's rolling. Okay. So we're good. Our uh, our cotton is still doing good. Just sitting there processing. Just kind of going to go around this area just to make sure that we can cut it next time and not have any deficit here. Shouldn't be too bad. It's only going to go by about seven miles per hour, maybe eight occasionally, which I was kind of expecting. It's not going to be a fast job gonna take some time we're gonna have to uh, be patient that's fine this is what this let's play is all about just relaxing doing things that need to get done and uh, not worrying about how much time we're spending so I'm definitely gonna look into the other header though because that uh whoa. yeah that's okay uh, that definitely took way too long for how I thought it was going to be. I figured with that thing, I'd pick it up automatically. Wouldn't have to win row. Wouldn't have to do anything. And it, it just took forever. Driving uh, 4.5 meters is not that big. So it definitely uh, took some time. But that's okay. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, it would just get old fairly quickly by the time we do this, you know, three or four times. Gonna get old. I'm going to make that because of the hedge collisions. There we go. This little tractor is actually pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying using this little guy. I thought it was going to be a little uh, slow, but it gets up to speed pretty quick, and it's, uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Last couple passes to do, and this field is taken care of. Harvested, re-rolled, so it's all set, it'll just grow. It started downpouring, so yep, dealing with that. But I'm gonna wrap it up here, guys. 
We got uh, some things done today. Harvested our entire grass field, got that all fermenting. We got our greenhouse going. It's slow, but it's going. Got our field rolled. We're looking good. This guy's got uh, 201 liters. Not bad. Overnight, it should produce uh, at least a one, one box. So we'll see how that goes. But we're moving on. We're getting things done. And uh, only time will tell. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave it a like. Definitely he lets me know how you guys uh, like the videos. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.